Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I'm Kelly Stewart, and we're back with season win totals. Now we're featuring the St. Louis Cardinals. Adam Burke to my right at Skating Tripods on Twitter. Tony Finn at Finn at Wager Talk. Welcome, Tony Finn. Thank you. Oh, good. Can you talk? Yes, you're allowed Thank to talk you. now. Um, all jokes aside, this before the video started, I said, can you guys name some notable Cardinals that I'm going to know? We all know that I don't handicap a ton of baseball, but I do follow along throughout the summer for entertainment purposes. This Cardinals team's not exactly a star-studded team, yet their season win total, 85 and a half. Adam, I'll start with you. It's a pretty big number, and I will say this. It's very scary. I'm sure Tony knows it. It is very scary to go against a, a model of consistency like the St. Louis Cardinals. Okay. But it just feels like this is the year that things start to regress. Last year they were a 500 team at the All-Star break. In the second half, Jack Flaherty was the best pitcher on the planet. They go 47 and 27 in the second half. They weren't as good of a team as what their final record would suggest. They were very, very average offensively. Outside of Flaherty, they were below average as a pitching staff. If you add him, they were about an average pitching staff. The bullpen was good. But some of their relievers now moving into starting capacities because they need help in the rotation. So they're weakening one area of the team to try and improve another. That always worries me when you talk about a season win total because injuries are going to happen. You got to start shuffling guys around. And look, I mean, this is a Cardinals team that I just I feel like the writing's kind of on the wall as they get older. Paul Goldschmidt's in the aging curve. Yadier Molina's in the aging curve. Matt Carpenter was awful last year. He's in the aging curve. They're just kind of growing out of their prime a little what bit. What is the and aging curve? Don't, Gen- watch, watch carefully. Generally <laughs> speaking, from a, from a baseball standpoint, like Paul Goldschmidt, for example, last year, lowest exit velocity over the last five years, lowest hard hit percentage, just percentage of batted balls hit 95 plus miles per hour. The bat speed is in decline. Okay. And when you don't hit the ball as hard, not as many positive outcomes, not as many doubles, home runs, things like that. And that's happening to a lot of guys here on this team all at once, and that's problematic. Okay. Tony, your in, thoughts on the St. Louis Cardinals? In this environment, um, any loss of bat speed is troublesome. Okay. There's no question. I agree. At, listen, I think it's spot on. Um, I was a huge fader of the Cardinals all last year, and I was fortunate enough to be plus money on them for a team that's 91 and 71 because I was always saying that I thought the pitching staff was – Overvalued, um, you know they had the Greek freak. Well, it sounded like they were overvalued outside of just one pitcher. It, right. There were some aberrations. Uh, the fact that they had more unders than overs, uh, I think, was an aberration with the pitching staff they had. Uh, when you're depending on Wainwright as much as they did, Wainwright is—he's been past his curve for quite a few years. Uh, Molina is really the key for me on this team, and and the less he plays, the less he's behind the plate. I think the less the Cardinals win. And, you know, their, their system, this is exactly as you said, consistency is because they do a great job of developing players as well. And, and So who work. do they have this year that they're going to be able to develop and start to develop to get them back on the right track? Well, and that's part of it, too, is that, you know, they, they brought up a guy like Tommy Edmond last year yeah. who, who wound up playing really, really well for them, but they haven't been able to reload their minor league system to the same level here of late. Yeah. So they have some guys that are going to be, you know, league average or slightly above average types of players but when you're talking about season win totals in the mid to upper 80s, and in fact, this one has come down a little bit, was in the 88 and a half, 87 and a half range. Um, a Pakota projection came out, that's at Baseball Prospectus, and it was very low on them. It said that they were going to be like a 500 team. And when you get projection systems that don't like teams, like with the Cardinals, that line comes down. So there are, there's a lot of under steam on this season win total. A lot of people Do you think the there's still mindset. value on the under? I, to a, a much lesser degree uh, okay. of value on the under, but it, it's still one. If you're in a season win total pool or a contest, something like that, it would still be an underplay at that point. Okay. I don't know how Adam feels. I when when I do these, when I do team totals, uh, I first thing I don't look at the team that we're talking about. In this case, I look at the rest of the division. Wow. So okay. So huge deal when you play 19 games with each team. How your how the other teams stack up makes a huge difference to me. And in this in this division, I believe every team is. Uh, I think I think the Cardinals may be the only one that have a, a total that's a little bit higher than last year. I think everyone else is down, if I'm not mistaken. Cubs and the Reds. I like the Reds. I like the Reds done. a lot. You know, I like them. And what they've done, um, if they can improve at all, I think the Cardinals have a hard hard time uh, meeting this this win. Are you going to get to the window on the under, Tony? I already did. Already did. Already so did, did I. Okay. 
Perfect. All right, great stuff, guys. MLB early bird special save 250 bucks off the entire MLB season. That makes the price $845 for the World Series. That's less than $140 a month to get Mr. Tony Finn's entire season baseball package, MLB EB 2020. This offer is valid through the opening day of March Madness, March 19th.